Eager's line of battery-powered products has really been catching on. Uh, a lot of people were kind of wondering where this company came from early on. And, you know, their batteries have a different look than everybody else's. And people weren't too sure of it. But now they've been out for quite a while. They're tested and proven. And they're holding up very, very well, the products and the batteries. So we just want to take a little bit of time here to show you these batteries and what makes them a little bit more special or more effective than the other types of batteries you'll find out there. Now, when we talk about other types of batteries, um, basically we're talking about other designs of batteries from other products or uh, other manufacturers, if you will. So here's an example, this Husqvarna BLI-20 here. This is what a lot of your batteries will look like. It's like a, a cube style design housing, you know, um, here's a 58 volt echo cordless battery, you know, another cube squared, you know, just block style battery, very reminiscent of the power tool batteries like this Milwaukee 18 volt here, you know, where, you know, your battery cells are all going to be right here in this block. Um, obviously you're not going to have anything up in here as far as a battery cell or anything, just like with these, you know, that they're going to be right in here. Now you look at these. Whoops! You got the, uh, the the cube or block style battery, and then you got this thing. You know, a little bit different looking, whole different shape and design there. And they did that on purpose, and there's a lot of benefits to that. But before we show you what's this, let's just show you the simpler the simpler style battery here, and what you get inside of something like this. <clears throat> we took apart one of these Husqvarna BLI 20s, and you have here all your different cells, these purple lithium ion cells right here. And you can see on the sides, you got all the plates connecting them. Same with on this side. You have an air gap between each cell going through this way, through that way. And uh, they're all packed in there. So you have, you know, your cells going the whole way around the outside. And on the inside, you have six more of them on this battery. So these ones on the inside here, when they get hot, the only way for that heat to get out is to pass over the other cells. So it's going to take this battery longer to cool down when you have it heated up in the inside here in the middle. You know, that heat's got to go somewhere, and it's just going to spread through everything. So it's going to take longer for these cells to cool down, and it's going to keep these cells hotter on the outside in whichever direction the air is flowing because it's going to be blowing that warm air from the uh, the cells on the inside over the ones on the outside that it passes by. Then this circuit board right here, this is your battery management system. This little button right here, this is the one you would find right here on your your uh, battery housing. And then these are the three LEDs, which you see lit up right there. So that's the that's the basic style battery. That's what you would find, you know, something like this inside of one of these batteries, the steel batteries, and uh, you know, one like this too. So now you have an idea because you can take this and you're like, well, yeah, that's going to be how that's in there. But when you look at this and you look at this, it's like, well, how do they get all this in there? So what's it look like inside one of these? Well, there you go. This is inside of a Ego Power Plus battery. This is second generation. It does not have the fuel gauge around it. Just has the uh, the one button there. It's either going to be green or it's going to be red if it's dead. Um, yeah, there we go. Or uh, orange if there's a thermal problem. But you have your, your lithium ion cells, just like the purple ones that were in the Husqvarna battery we showed you there. And you can see they're actually staggered. And that's where they, they come up with this arc lithium design because it's actually an arc almost like the uh, McDonald's arches here at the end of this thing and one of the big reasons for that is it helps the battery cool down faster you know the only batteries that are kind of hidden and tucked away are these right here on on these packs right there right there right there and right here so you can you can actually see those batteries, those cells, you know, pretty plainly. So they're going to get plenty of air to cool down. All these ones here on the outside, they have no problem because they've got the outside um, 
to dissipate the heat away. On the top, same thing. These ones in the middle, that's a single layer. There's the top and there's the bottoms of them. So they're completely wide open. So you're not getting a lot of heat spread throughout your cells from one cell to the next because of the fact that they can get the air to cool them from so many different directions. And then also in between the two, the two packs there, you can see you got a nice open area for air to flow through there. I'll tuck this back in here a little bit. Then uh, on the housing down here, you can see you got all your vents right here. And then on the top of the battery, you also have more vents. And they're, they're pretty big vents there. Um, they're pretty open. So you can get a lot of air flowing through this thing. And you might say, oh, well, you know, if you're getting a lot of air flowing through there, you got to watch you're not sucking in. You know, moisture or um, dust and dirt to ruin that battery, you know, cause issues with those electrical systems in there or, uh, you know, get your, your connections corroding. Well, you saw on this Husqvarna battery here, this is your cir circuit board, your battery management system, and you drop this in the housing and that's it. This thing is right there on the back side of this cover. This is how it's in there. This Ego Power Plus battery... Here's your battery management system. Right up here, this gray, it's completely sealed up. There is nothing getting in or out of that. Completely sealed up. It has extra sealant over it where the wires come through at. That's one of the reasons why they've been so reliable and so durable. You know, moisture, dust, dirt, debris doesn't affect them. They pull a lot of air through them to keep them cool. They stay cool longer. They cool down faster if they do get hot. Uh, compared to a block style um, connection of the cells like here that like you have here. So another thing with these Ego Power Plus batteries is the way that they mount onto the equipment. We'll show you here with our hedge trimmer. This is our, our Ego Power Plus hedge trimmer. And this battery mounts directly onto the bottom of this, just slides right on there. So now there it is. It's mounted in there. This thing is ready to go. And you can see that this battery is just completely open here. These vents here, completely open to pull air through there. The sides, you know, nothing's impeding that. You know, outside air is going to help keep that thing cool. Plus, you're going to have that air going through your vents to help cool those cells down. So that battery is going to stay nice and cool. And it's that same setup on the leaf blower, on the chainsaw. Um... Really, the only thing that's inside of a piece of equipment, or the only time a battery is inside of a piece of equipment, are on the mowers and the snowblower. Everything else has them hanging out in the wide open, you know, so they can get plenty of cooling. Now, you take a look at that and compare it to one of these um, Husqvarna batteries that's already going to have a hard time cooling down at the same rate that this Ego Power Plus battery cool down, and you stick it in a piece of equipment like in our, our um, 120i Husqvarna chainsaw here. And how's that thing going to cool down? It's sealed the whole way around there. You know, the only thing you have is the top of the battery exposed here. And obviously there's no vents on it. So it's going to rely on, on some of the air coming off of the fan from the electric motor to cool that battery down. So you're kind of limited there on how much cooling air this thing can get to begin with, then you're restricted on how quickly you can get the air through these cells to cool them down. So that's a huge advantage that Ego has with these Power Plus batteries. And that Husqvarna chainsaw, it's not alone in that design. You know, a lot of your, uh, your other Husqvarna equipment is that way. Um, the Echo cordless stuff, they have the same design set up on them where the, the battery is at least half to three quarters buried. You know, your vents are inside the machine, your vents on your battery. So it's relying on the machine to help cool the battery down. Uh, steel is set up that way with a lot of their stuff. You know, you, you look at all these products out there and you're going to see that Ego is kind of alone, at least at the moment, in this setup that they have to help get the maximum air into these batteries to cool them down. So again, you know, that's going to be exposed to the elements as far as uh, dust and debris and any dew flying off of a, 
a hedge, you know, if you're using a leaf blower. But everything is sealed up so well inside there, it's really not going to affect it. Now, the other thing that makes the, uh, the cooling system on these batteries so important is if you run this battery in a piece of equipment, let's say a leaf blower, which is something will draw the battery down at a very high rate of speed, you're going to run this battery dead um, really fast with a leaf blower wide open, you know, blowing leaves as fast as you can. When you do that, that's what's going to make this battery warm up because of how fast it's being drained of its power. On batteries like these and, you know, another box style battery here, you take one of these things after you've done that and it's still fairly hot. You're going to put it on the charger because you want to hurry up and get back out there and finish your job and it's not going to do anything. You'll hear the fan kick on on the charger depending on what type of charger you have but you'll get an error light flashing or some kind of message from the, the charger or the battery saying that there's something wrong and it's not going to let it charge. Uh, these Husqvarna ones, you'll get the little red triangle here or you'll get the red light on your, um, on your charger itself. And the reason it does that is because the battery management system in there, the circuit board here, tells it that, hey, uh, you got to cool down before you can take any more on. So you're going to have to wait for these battery cells to cool down before that'll even take a charge. So now you're going to have a half an hour or so waiting for the battery to cool down. Then you're going to have another half an hour or so waiting for the battery to charge up. Where one of these Ego batteries, they run nice and cool. They don't have that issue with getting so hot. You pull it out of the equipment. If this is the only battery you got, slap it on a charger. It's charging up instantly. It's instantly throwing a charge back into this. So where you would have to wait you know, uh, half an hour or so for these to get cooled down, to be able to charge, and another half an hour for it to charge up. Within a half an hour, this thing's already done and back out there ready to work. Now, are these box cube style batteries bad? No, no, not at all. They're very effective or the manufacturers wouldn't make them that way. It's just these guys here have been making battery powered equipment for several years uh, they were doing it before they came out with the ego brand they were doing it for other brands making and designing their battery powered equipment for them so they knew what works they had these ideas and they ran with it and it's really paying off for them now um, they've got a unique design that nobody else came up with and uh, it, it's helping them lead the charge if you will in the battery powered equipment market so these are actually uh, batteries here that we use in all of our equipment around around the place here. Um, this Husqvarna battery just stopped working. This was one of the older ones uh, from their original battery powered equipment lineup that they put out. You know, and the early batteries, of course, did have problems. Same way with the early Echo batteries. There were some of them that were known to have some issues, but we have plenty of these uh, BLI 20s from the different kits that we bought and even have a BLI 200, a BLI 300, and no issues with them. Um, I bet you we probably have, <laughs> we probably got half a dozen or more batteries right now of the Husqvarna brand, and this is the only one that we've had any issues with. And we've got two or three of the Echo batteries, and we know a bunch of other people that have had these, and we really haven't seen many problems with them. It's just that hesitation there when uh, you want to, charge it and it doesn't take a charge so again that's that's the story with these ego power plus batteries if you're wondering what the arc lithium is now you know it's because your lithium cells are in an arc in there out of it so now you know a little bit of an idea of what's inside some of this stuff and uh now you can look for the stuff that you can't see right <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for this quick little video here um, on the Ego Power Plus batteries. And as always, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Um, you know, keep checking back. We're always putting new stuff out. And that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching.